Hi, Vanessa King here, Head of Psychology through Action for Happiness um, and here to launch Friendly February, our theme for the month and it's based on the key of relating from our 10 keys to happier living. That's all about nurturing our positive connections with others, which was a vital for our health and happiness at any time. But at this time right now, when we've come through the pandemic and been socially distant, it's perhaps more vital than ever before. And we know that a lot of people are out there are feeling lonely. So friendly February, let's see what we can do to um, kind of just help feel a little bit more connected um, to others, whether that's the people close to us, the, or the people in our communities or people that we see around and about. So here are some tips to try, three tips to try this month. So the first is have a friendly ripple day. Kindness, gratitude, positive emotions have all been shown to ripple out, ripple out through our sort of real social networks. So just those small gestures, a smile, a little act of kindness, saying thank you in a sort of personal way um, is all catching and increases the likelihood of people themselves then going on to be friendly in that way. So pick a day maybe and do five additional acts of kindness, gratitude, of, of smiling at people or saying hello to people, friendliness in that day than you would normally do. And just see what ripples you can set off. The second tip is about reflecting on the people who are friendly towards you. Now, gratitude is an emotion that's thought to connect us with others. And when we are feeling grateful to other people, it helps to build a sense of kindness and trust with them and more generally, and it makes us more likely to make um, new connections. So how to do this? Well, you may probably be very familiar with the three good things, writing down three good things at the end of each day. Well, this is a variant on that. So it's reflecting specifically on three good things that um, happen today as a result of other people. It could be like the bus driver holding the bus so that you could get on so you, you weren't late, or a, a, a sharing a joke with a friend, or somebody picking something up that you've dropped. It could be anything, tiny, tiny. And you write them down, I'm grateful to so-and-so for whatever it, the small thing they did. So you're cultivating that attitude of gratitude towards others, which then makes it more likely and easier, perhaps, to be friendly. And the third tip. Now, this is for those of you who are probably thinking, well, that's all right, I'm just really not feeling very friendly. Or, well, I'm an introvert, so it's hard, actually, hard to make connections with others. And it might be that, you're, you know, you're thinking you're an extrovert, but... You know, you, you feel a bit rusty on how to, to connect with others after um, the pandemic. Well, this comes from an experiment, um, a study that was done when asking people to act like an extrovert for seven days. But before people went out and did that, they were asked to reflect on a list five behaviours that are sort of more extrovert behaviours inverted behaviours than they would normally do, that they could do, and how they might incorporate those into their day-to-day -day lives. And then they went out to do them for seven days. Now, at the end of that seven days, people who had acted more in a more extroverted manner had um, felt a sort of positive emotional boost from that. So, and it wasn't that they were going out and throwing parties, it was just being slightly more extroverted, uh, slightly more friendly, making connections, um, than, than they would normally do. So give that one a go if you're um, if you are someone that um, is a bit more introverted or you know, so act like an extrovert. Um, you know you don't have to be one to be friendly. So the three tips we've talked about this month for friendly friendly uh, for friendly February is having a friendly ripple day, whether that's spreading kindness gratitude or positive emotions or a blend of those. Um, you could do a day per week or you could just pick one day this month to do it. Then there's um, cultivating that gratitude towards others. others. So keeping, you know, reflecting back at the end of your day of people you were grateful for, for good things that have happened specifically as a result of other people. And then having a sort of a week where you act a little bit more extroverted than you are um, perhaps naturally and to cultivate a bit of a sense of positive emotions, hopefully. 
And I want to add a fourth, actually, this month, because it's very, um, it's, you know, it's not infrequent that we might get a little bit upset or whatever if somebody's not as friendly towards us as we would like. And that could make us more reluctant um, to actually go out and reach out to other people and be, uh, and for us to be friendly. So one other thing, a tip to try this month, is giving people perhaps a benefit of a doubt, the doubt. We don't really know what's going on for other people or the stuff that's going on in their lives or how they're feeling. So if somebody does snap at you or isn't as friendly as you'd like, you know, just give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt um, and well, you check in with them how they're doing, you know, um, because that then means we're not feeling affronted, we're not feeling upset, which then enables us enables us to be friendly to the next friendlier to the next person we meet. So I hope you enjoy exploring and experimenting with those um, this month. Please do share on any of our social media platforms, be that the app, YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram, on how you're um, experimenting with these and what you notice as a result. So thanks very much and I hope you do have a, a friendly, a very friendly and enjoyable February. See you next month.